Okay, multiplying and dividing. Hopefully you guys have already watched the YouTube video that I put out for you. In the beginning, it makes it a lot easier, uh, especially for the grade threes. Um, and then towards the end, it's long division and long multiplication, where we use those like we do in addition. So if you had 22 and 22, you would go 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, but now we're using multiplication where they go sideways and then backwards like this. But it's more important for the grade fours to look over that than the grade threes. Um, and for all of you today, it's not that necessary to do that. We're going to try and keep it simple at first. So you guys have a worksheet called PCM 29, Multiplying and Dividing. It is not block DIPCM29. Don't use that. Okay, that's an addition worksheet that I think the grade fours have. This is uh, PCM29, multiplying and dividing. Okay, so first on the first question, it actually has the answers there for you. It says 3 times 6 equals 18, and 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So you can see multiplication is going forwards and division is going backwards. And they do it using counting blocks or like we had our beans. So when we multiply, we know we've got 6 groups of 3 or 3 groups of 6. Here they've drawn it for us in blocks. And they have 2... Three, four, five, six blocks in a line, and they've got three sets of them. So I'm going to draw another one and another one. This is what they've got there. Okay, so now we can see three sets of six blocks is going to be 18. So let's count one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we get our answer. It's right there. Okay. This is easy if you guys know your times tables. And a lot of you do know your times tables. Even your six times tables. If you don't know your six times tables, you can use your three times tables. So... 3, 6, 9, 12, count with me, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 3 times 6 is 18, okay, now we're going backwards, we're saying, hey look at these blocks, we've got 18 blocks here, okay, and we're going to divide them by how many, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it gives us 3 equal sets of blocks, okay, that's division going backwards. Right now you can just look at it and make it backwards. And then you start seeing that division is multiplication backwards. Okay. Now I'm going to do the second one with you as well. And then I think you guys can all do the last part by yourselves. So also on PCM29, we're going to do number two. So we have... Two columns like this that have four blocks in them. Look at that. It's like a chocolate bar. Okay. We have one, two, three, four in each group. Five, six, seven, eight. So here we've got our whole sum and our answer already. Okay. Two columns, right? These two, one, two times. One, two, three, four. Four pieces of chocolate in each line. And that equals together eight pieces of chocolate. Okay. Now we want to go backwards for division. So we're going to go backwards. Eight, because we're starting over here. We have eight pieces. And if we divide them into four each per column, how many columns do we have? Two. Okay. We can also do it another way. Eight pieces divided into two columns. They're going to be two equal columns. You're going to have 
four pieces of chocolate per bar. So you can use the multiplication just like you can go two times four or four times two. Either way works. So you guys can carry on with PCM 29 and finish that by yourselves. It's just counting the blocks and how many columns they've given you. Thereafter, grade fours only. Grade threes, your uh, worksheets should be pretty easy to get through. Uh, you can ask me for help if you need it. Grade fours, you need to pay attention because your one worksheet, AI, block AI, PCM9, block AI, PCM9, okay. This one's important because this we have remainders and we've done remainders before, we did remainders when we were doing fractions. All right, so the first example they've given you there is 11 divided by 2 equals 5, remainder 1. And you can see this, guys, because it's your 2 times table. 11 divided by 2 is the same as 11 over 2, same as our fraction, where we used to put our fraction inside 11. So we all know our 2 times table. Let's count. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus... Oh, we can go forever. So this would be 4. This would be 6. 8. 10. 12. 14. But we need 11 here, which is right in between. So, 2 can go in, how many are here? If we end there, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five. So two goes into 11 five times, and from 10, how many does it take to get to 11? Only takes one. Okay, that's your remainder, five remainder one. I'm gonna do the second one with you, and then I'm pretty sure you can carry on. Victoria's really good at this. Carry on by yourselves. The second one they've asked us is 14 divided by 3. Again, a really good one because we're doing the 3 times table. So, let's look at another way that we can write it, like a fraction. How many times is 3 going to go into 14? Well, let's write it out. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Let's see. 3 and 3 is 6, another 3 is 9, another 3 is 12, another 3 is 15, another 3 is 18. Okay, but the number we need is 14. Okay, and 14 is here in the middle, which means we can only do this many. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 goes into 14 four times. And how many are remaining? Well, it goes into 12. And how many are there from 12 to 14? That would be plus 2. So our remainder is 2. Okay, guys. Try the rest all by yourselves. Um, grade 4 have different worksheets to grade 3. And then you can send them through to me. I can help you. Uh, or I can just mark them and give you a stop.